this is the Provoke Prawn, and here I'm comparing the Logitech G502X Plus with the Rocket Cone XP Air. These are two fantastic mice for a number of different reasons, and in this video I'm going to show them side by side, as well as talking about the different features and highlights of each of them, what I like and don't like about them, and I'm also going to discuss which is my preference. And check out the links in the description to the full videos where I've done unboxing and reviews on both these mice that go into a bit of depth, including things like the software. I'm gonna talk about all the different things and highlights of them. And you can see they're both good looking mice in white, especially snazzy looking devices with loads of buttons and loads of other nice features. Now the G502X Plus is an interesting upgrade to the Logitech G502 lineup that now includes optical switches, USB-C charging, and a number of other highlights. The Rocket Cone XP Air is also a fantastic mouse and a brilliant upgrade to the previous Cone lineup from Rocket that includes RGB lighting and its own nifty little charging dock that you can see here. So this is included as standard. You can plug in your dongle to it. So you have the 2.4 gigahertz wireless connection, and then you plug in the USB-C cable that's included into that and the other end into your PC. And then you have not only the connection for the 2.4 gigahertz, but also a charging base station. It's also worth noting that this mouse has both Bluetooth and wireless connectivity. So it has the option of both of them, which the Logitech does not. So there's already a difference there. Specs wise though, you could say that the G502X Plus is superior potentially because it has up to 25,600 DPI, 40 G's max acceleration, 400 max IPS speed, and 13 programmable buttons with five onboard memory profiles. Has up to 120 hours of battery life without the RGB, 37 with it turned on. And that's an interesting point of note because the Rocket claims 100 hours maximum, so less potentially. However, there is a big difference between them as you've seen already. G502X Plus doesn't have Bluetooth, just 2.4 gigahertz, but it does have that dongle you've seen. And it also has compatibility with Logitech's PowerPlay system, which is is a mat that you can buy separately that you can swap out the little dock on the bottom for this dongle here this black one that you can see and now you've got a mouse that permanently is being charged so it has pass through for power constantly on the mouse which means you never need to plug it in theoretically fantastic and really good it is a bit small you can see the size of the mouse mat compared with the mouse here for example i prefer larger ones but it does have that flexibility so both of them offer some interesting charging capabilities here you can see a weight comparison we've got 105 grams for the logitech 102 ish for the cone xp air so they're very comparable in terms of weight but it's interesting because the rocket cone xp air has more tech in it if you think about it because it has not only more buttons but it also has both bluetooth and wireless transmitters and receivers so it does both whereas the logitech doesn't now you do have some customization with the g502x plus though because you can remove that sniper button you can turn it around or you can put this little cap on it which covers over that position so when i say sniper button that's essentially a button that you can press and hold and drop into a lower dpi now this has 13 programmable buttons but you can adjust those within logitech software and you can customize them you'll also notice there's a little led on the front that lets you know when you're changing dpi level that led also flashes to let you know when you're running low on battery power which is particularly useful and you only really have RGB lighting in this little strip that runs around the side and rear. Whereas the Cone XP Air, as you can see, has lighting throughout the mouse through its interesting body with this sort of 3D lighting. And then on the base station as well. There's a lot to be said to be able to pick up your mouse and drop it on a base station for charging too. Now, a quick note, I'm going to do a comparison of the click sounds at the end of the video, but you can see that you have side to side controls for the mouse wheels. You've got side to side click left and right on both mice. So you have that flexibility as well as a mass of buttons for easy access. Now the Cone XP Air is interesting because it has loads of buttons on the side. You can see T1, 2, 3 and 4 plus the up and down DPI buttons. And there's a button below my thumb, which is actually the easy shift button. Now you can press and hold that 
and then you can program the other buttons with a secondary layer of actions, which gives you 29 possible programmable inputs on that mouse, which is insane. However, it is a bit awkward to press and hold that button and then press the other ones. Both mice have optical switches, but the Logitech G502X Plus has optical mechanical hybrid switches, which give you an interesting click sound, the sort of mechanical styling to them, but they actually have that optical actuation so it's more accurate than the previous models and also will last longer as well so both of them are designed to last longer and give you a really accurate response out of them now the g502 also has that classic free spinning mouse wheel so there's two buttons behind the mouse wheel one of them will allow you to switch mode so you have a standard sort of tactile response and another one where it will just spin and spin and spin you don't have that with the rocket mouse that's a Logitech thing, although you can get something similar with the Razer Basilisk. So that's worth bearing that in mind. And you can see these two mice are very interesting for a number of different reasons. But if you put them side by side, I feel like the Kone XP Air is a little bit larger. I find it personally more comfortable. I do find them both wonderful in terms of ergonomics. However, as you can see, they're both also for right-handed gamers. Thumb rest on the left-hand side for that, but although it's quite small for the Kone XP Air because of the size of it, it pushes up really nicely into the palm and has a really good comfortable fit to it. However, you probably get more grip out of the Logitech, which has that rubberized grips on either side but here you can see what it looks like sort of side by side the difference between them. you can see marginally sort of fatter mouse with the rock out one and that's what i mean it just sits in the hand a bit nicer and is a bit more comfortable in my opinion anyway this is really going to vary depending on your grip style and your personal preference but for me i found it marginally more comfortable I will say I do feel like the Logitech mouse feels a bit more premium. The Rocket could verge on feeling a little bit cheaper, but I think they've managed to keep an incredibly lightweight mouse for what's packed into it. If you think about it, all the RGB lighting, obviously the battery and the power and connectivity for two different sources of connection, multiple buttons and clever stuff like that. So it is impressive what they've done with it. And the Logitech G502 has obviously been a solid performer for a long time. A lot of people are a big fan of it. So now I'm going to leave you with a sound test and you can hear what those two sound like, but you'll see they're both slick on the mat and easy to use, comfortable for gaming and working with. I found them both fantastic, but the Kone XP is my preference by a hair's breadth. You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.